You can now edit and unsend messages on iPhone in iOS 16. Apple has really made some great improvements with iMessage in this update, and it is much better and easier to use iMessage now. In this video, I'll show you how you can edit and unsend messages. I'll also show you two other great new iMessage features. So for these new features, first you'll need to update your iPhone to iOS 16. You can see here I'm running iOS 16.0. If you haven't already done so, watch this video to learn how to update to iOS 16 the easy way. One thing to know is there's two limitations to editing and unsending messages in iMessage. First, the recipient needs to have iOS 16 installed also, otherwise they will still be able to see the original message even if you were to unsend it. Second, you only have 15 minutes after you sent your message to edit or unsend your message. Let's now have a look at how to edit a message on iOS 16. So I'll open up the iPhone Messages app, iMessage, and type a demo message to a friend I know already has iOS 16 installed and send it through. It says here it's delivered as normal. But now I can tap and hold and select edit here and I'll make the change that I want and send again. You can see here that again it says delivered but it also has edited. So both parties will be able to see that. Let's now see how to unsend a message on iOS 16. Here's another demo message. I'll send it. It says delivered once again, and now I can tap and hold and then click unsend. You'll see the cool unsend animation complete with a message saying unsent. And here's the limitation with this feature at this point. You get a message saying that the other person may still be able to see the message if they have an older iOS. So until that person does update to iOS 16, this feature won't work with them. Also remember that you only have 15 minutes after you sent the original message to do this. Now here's those other two great new features in iMessage I promised to show you earlier. iOS 16 dictation now gives you the ability to type and dictate at the same time. Meaning that if you want to type while you're dictating, it doesn't interrupt the dictation process. And there's also a new dictate button. Let's try it out. So if you're like me, I often dictate to my text messages to save time. But if you want to type a word that Siri has trouble understanding, you would have to cancel the dictation and then type. And then continue dictating like this. The last iMessage feature I want to show you is marking messages as unread in iOS 16. You might like to do this if you want to read a message but have a reminder there to reply to the message if you're busy at the time you receive the message to actually reply. To do so, go to your messages list and swipe right on a message and tap this icon here. Or you can just do an extreme swipe to the right to do it in one motion. Another couple of quick mentions, you can also now recover recently deleted messages from the last 30 days. And lastly, share play via messages, which I think is pretty cool. So that's how you edit and unsend messages in iOS 16, as well as marking messages unread and dictating while typing. Please give the video a like below and share with three friends you know who like iPhone tips just like these. You may just make their day. And watch this video next to learn how to customize your lock screen in iOS 16. It's one of the best new features in this new update and I guarantee you'll learn something so I'll see you there.